snowfall taking everyone by surprise. It seems the entire area has ground to a halt. Roads are blocked, businesses are shut down, and listen carefully, schools are officially closed for a snow day. Yes! Snow day, snow day, snow day! No school, no school, no school! On a day when anything can happen. Hi, Hal. Hey, look out! Everything will. Principal Weaver, catch! Whoa! But there's one man who can ruin it all. Snowplow man. Each snowflake marks a snow day that I single-handedly plowed into oblivion. It's gotta be stopped today. Claire, I know you're watching. What is this? Uh, Frank, pan off him. I say try something new. Me. It's a snow day, Claire. Anything can happen. Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon Movies present... <laughs> Snow and lots of it, folks. I got your standard slush ball in this one. The jelly filled snow nut. Kids, as unpredictable as the weather. No school. Hey, enjoying your day off? I know I sure am. <laughs> I gotta go. No rules. Ta da! You made this for me? Why? It's your favorite animal, a whale. But I like zebras. Huh? No problem. You've stolen your last snow day from us. Well, now I'm scared. Show! Chevy Chase. Chris Elliott. Snow Day. I'm going to ask my friends here to give me just a little push. I said a little one. Oh! charged with murder and that you issued an illegal order to have your Marines fire into a group of innocent civilians. Murder, sir? I want you to be my lawyer. I'm a good enough lawyer to know you need a better lawyer than me. What do we know about Colonel Hayes Hodges? He's a guy who got blown apart in Vietnam and became a cynic. Can we guarantee we get this guy? Don't take this case, son. This man has trashed the reputation of the court. If I'm guilty of this, I'm guilty of everything I've done in combat for the last 30 years. You have to be careful here. Yeah. Whether a man is charged with murder or hailed as a hero is sometimes a very thin line. Sometimes you just can't win, no matter what you do. What do you think? I think they're out to crucify you. Why did a well-trained fighting unit ignore the rules of engagement when their orders were simply to protect and, if necessary, evacuate the embassy? It was a peaceful crowd. That is, until Colonel Childers arrived and prevented me from pursuing further avenues of diplomacy. Why are we sitting here? Look at me! Stay calm! Mrs. Moraine, I don't believe your husband is telling the truth. I can subpoena you, ma'am. Don't put me up there. I'm a very credible witness. This is going to take us both down, you know? Yeah. How's that work, Hayes? You going to spend the rest of your life in prison, too? This is a tape from the embassy security system. What if the crowd had weapons? 
What if this shows they did fire first? I don't want to watch it. I don't want to testify about it. I don't want it to exist. We don't have anybody to back up your case. That's because all my witnesses are dead. Withholding evidence to frame a United States Marine is no less evil than charging my client with murder. Why are those tapes not here? I turned over all materials in my possession. The crowd in front of the embassy had no weapons, did they, Colonel? Yes, they had weapons! Are you ordered me to fire into the crowd? Over. What is it about this order you don't understand? Open fire! Yes, innocent people probably died. There are rules, and Marines are sworn to uphold them. I was not going to stand by and see another Marine die just to live by those rules. in on your vacation. Well, Mr. Hunt, I don't quite know where to begin. You know? No. Should I? She's got no training for this kind of thing. To go to bed with a man and lie to him, she's a woman. She's got all the training she needs. Welcome to Australia, mate. This ain't funny. of all nightmares is on the loose. I don't think I can do it. I mean, it'll be difficult. Yeah. Well, this is not mission difficult, Mr. Hunt. It's mission impossible. Difficult should be a walk in the park for you. You gotta be kidding. This message will destruct in five seconds. So, I guess this is it. Give your mother a big hug. She's very fragile today. Daddy's a wreck, okay? So make sure you call him. After 24 years of marriage, Henry and Nancy Clark were finally on their own. This is fantastic. Alone in the house. It was the perfect time for a change. Have you tried tying each other up with bamboo? No, actually, we used the club. Oh, the time. To leave the Midwest for a little visit to Manhattan. Great city, isn't it? New York is completely fogged in. We've been diverted to Boston. Where are the bags? They didn't come out. Are there any more bags up there? We were supposed to land. That's not our bag! Oh. But now that they're going... Is this a 338 to New York? No, that is. They're going to regret it. We've got to find a car. Compact, midsize, or luxury? A uh, compact. We're all out of compacts. Midsize would be fine. We don't have any midsize vehicles either. All we have is one luxury sedan. You know, honey, they should really change their sign to, we have car. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived! This is beautiful. There's nothing more inviting. We seem to have a little financial problem with your credit card. Please come back when you have some money. Can't you just trust us? Oh. <laughs> Happy! More exciting. <laughs> You might think we're insignificant out-of-towners from Ohio, but I happen to know what our rights are. Hold it! Or more right. arresting. This can't be happening! We'll take an aspirin. Then a little trip. <laughs> I know that you took a hallucinogenic in prison. This is the dawning of the age of We need to love more and learn to love because it's... Come on, Nancy, let's do her! Paramount Pictures presents... Uh, oh, Henry! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Steve Martin, black, black, black. Goldie Hawn, and John Cleese. Oh my God, he's dancing in ladies' clothes. Oh. The Out-of-Towners. We're 
we're back. Mr. and Mrs. Clark, the sequel. Are you throwing us out? Good heavens, no, no, no. Security will do that. And who are you? Are you a lawyer? Well, I just, I just passed the bar. Well, you got a hell of a lot of nerve walking into my courtroom without a license. Now get the hell out of here, get your license, and then you come back. In law school, Rudy, they don't teach you what you need to know. It's all theories and lofty notions and big, fat ethics books. What's wrong with ethics? Nothing, I guess. In the world of lawyers... Good afternoon, Mr. Van Landel. Do you have a lawyer? No. Good. No! Very sorry, Mr. Van Landel. Very sorry. We're gonna get you a bunch of money. In the city of Memphis... That was blatant ambulance chasing. Right. Better learn quick, you're gonna starve. An incredible story is about to unfold. We really need your help. My son is dying, and the crooks won't pay for his treatment. I'm very sorry to be here under these circumstances. Well, we wouldn't be here if your clients had done what they should have done. On seven prior occasions, this company has denied your claim in writing. You must be stupid, stupid, stupid. The company was playing the odds. What odds? Denial all claims for a year, and most people give up. I want to expose these people. Welcome to the war. <laughs> Y'all are going to have your work cut out for you. Jury tampering, tax evasion, money laundering, you name it. You better watch your back. Are you scared? Yeah. Rudy! What are you doing? I hope you are astonished at the lengths to which a wealthy insurance company will go to take money from a low-income family and then keep it. I advise you mind your manners. You're in the big water now. Do you even remember when you first sold out? This got all twisted, didn't it? This legal profession. Matt Damon, Claire Danes, John Voight, Mary Kay Place, with Mickey Rourke, and Danny DeVito. You in over your head, son? Absolutely. <laughs> John Grisham's The Rainmaker. There's nothing more thrilling than nailing an insurance company. 